Hello dear researchers, I hope you are doing great. So today we are going to see how to analyze Likert scale using logistic regression and mainly ordinal logistic regression. So stay tuned for the video. Okay, so we are going to proceed as follows. So the first uh, section is going to be devoted to definitions of key concepts, namely logistic regression. Uh, what is it and uh, uh, what are uh, its basic assumptions? The second uh, section is going to be devoted to the types of logistic regression, especially binary logistic le regression, uh, multinomial logistic regression, and uh, uh, ordinal logistic regression. This last one is the one that concerns us here. The third section is going to be devoted to why we use logistic regression and the fourth section is about how to run logistic regression using ESPSS that is statistical package of social science theoretically speaking and the, the fifth section is about how to interpret logistic regression results so the first section is about as i said definitions of key terms and it is about logistic regression which is used when the dependent variable is in a categorical or ordinal measurement scale. Uh, categorical variables are variables that consist of categories like gender, male, female, etc. Ordinal variables are uh, variables that uh, have values that can be ranked like uh, Likert scale, all right, or uh, ranking items. So this is the, the first uh, assumption. And the, the independent variable is, should be on a nominal or continuous scale. And this is the second assumption. Then, uh, as to the types of logistic regression, these types, in fact, vary according to the types of variables involved. For the first type, which is binary logistic regression, it is used to model a predictive relationship between one or more independent variables and the binary dependent variable. All right, the second one is multinomial logistic regression. It is used when you have more than two categories on the dependent variable that are unordered. And the third one, which is ordinal logistic regression, is used when categories of the dependent variables are ordered or ranked. All right, so these are the main three types of logistic regression. Okay, so let's repeat. So binary logistic regression, here we have one uh, deep or more independent variables and one uh, binary dependent variable multinomial when we have more uh, or we have the dependent variable that that is not ordered okay so this is the difference and we have more than two categories on the dependent variable so this is like the main difference ordinal logistic regression for the the dependent variable it should be ordered or ranked uh, why we use regression? So regression is used to study how an ordinal Likert scale uh, dependent variable is related to a nominal independent scale variable. Let's say modes of education and satisfaction. All right, or satisfaction. Sorry. Uh, great. So let's uh, uh, see how to run logistic regression using SPSS. So we have to open SPSS. So this is theoretically, but we can uh, see this uh, in practice. Uh, so when we open spaces, we have the uh, the Likert scale that we need to analyze. So uh, here we should analyze just one item of the Likert scale because we do not have to compute the mean score of Likert scales as I have uh, shown you in previous videos. So there should be just one item that consists of, for example, a seven point Likert scale or a five point Likert scale. Then well, what we do next is to move the dependent variable and independent variables to their corresponding list and select output. output. Then we should, in the output, we, we take goodness of fit statistics, summary statistics, parameter estimates, because parameter estimates are going to tell us this degree of relationship, and test of parallel lines and click continue. Then uh, C warning and case uh, processing summary model facing information. The significant uh, value must always be below 0.05. So one, once we run the model 
and how to interpret the, the logistic regression results uh, especially here we are talking about ordinal logistic regression because the, it is the one that co concerns us here because Likert scale is an ordinal is sometimes considered an ordinal measure so therefore we reject the null hypothesis that say that there is no significant difference between the baseline model with no independent variables as there is only one intercept to final model with all possible independent variables in case the p-value is uh, less than 0 0.05 or equal to 0 0.05 again person in goodness of fit measures should be greater than 0 0.045 and uh, in the pseudo r square the negro uh, click value should be 7 or pseudo r square indicates the proportion of the variance explained by the independent variables on the dependent variables in the regression model. Parameter estimates determine which variable has more impact. All right, and the test of parallel lines uh, determines whether or not the hypothesis can be rejected. So this is in general how we can interpret the major. Uh, output let's say uh, indices or parameters that can be used in this model of I repeat ordinal logistic regression and of course we are going to uh, watch another video uh, whose link is uh, attached uh, below in the description box and it is going to be about practical cases when we run logistic regression be it ordinal logistic regression, binary logistic regression, or multinomial logistic regression. So please go and watch the video to understand more. And if you have questions or remarks, do not hesitate to post them below or try to contact me directly via my WhatsApp uh, number, as you can see, or any uh, social media that you would like. Uh, and see you in another tutorial.